Hi everyone, in this video we'll be discussing the problem implement ATOI function. Previously this problem has been asked in companies like Amazon and Microsoft. Basically in this particular problem, your task is to implement the ATOI function and what does this function do? So basically this function takes a string as an argument. So basically you do what you pass a string inside it and it converts it into the corresponding integer. So suppose that if you have passed a string, let's say as 91 inside this function, so it will convert it into integer 91. Okay. Suppose that if you have passed a string, let's say as 4 to 7 inside this function, so it will convert that into the number 4 to 7. That is integer format in integer format. Right, so this is the special thing about this function and if that is not possible, then this function would return what if it is not possible, uh, if the uh, suppose that if you have a number like 221a, okay, uh, like that you can see for the second test case. So if you have 21a, if you pass this string inside uh, the function, then uh, since uh, this string is not a complete integer, you have character also, right? So that is why it will do what it will return minus one. But suppose if you are passing what if you are passing something like minus four, 431 then this will be made as minus 431 only okay so uh, if there is any normal character from a to z or any other character that will not be acceptable but if, if in the starting you have a negative sign uh, that is acceptable for us okay so basically we'll be given a string and we have to determine uh, whether it is possible to convert it into integer if yes then we have to return that corresponding integer otherwise we have to return minus one so what should we do here Firstly, let us say that if I have minus 123 only, so I have to determine what will be my starting position from which I should start. Either see if I had to convert 123 or if I had to convert uh, minus 123. So the starting positions would be different for that. Okay, because here if you see, so my start position would be from index 1. Okay, if minus sign is there. Okay, if at the 0th index, a minus sign is there, then my starting index would be 1. But if at the zeroth index there is no start, uh, there is no minus sign, then my starting index would be zero. That is one thing that is very, very important here. Okay. Now, suppose that once we have dealt with this part, if there is a negative sign initially, then in the end, whatever answer we'll generate, we'll put a minus sign in it. Okay. We can multiply minus one into it. Now, suppose that if you have got uh, 123 here, right? And this is your current start point, or let's say this is your ith point that you are at. Now, what you will do is uh, you will have character one if you subtract subtract 0 from character 1 then you will get 1 okay and initially your answer would be 0 always what you can do is you can do answer is equal to answer into 10 plus the current digit that you have and the current digit that you have is what 1 so answer is equal to 0 into because answer initially was 0 so 0 into 10 plus the digit that will be 1 only right so the answer becomes 1 after that the digit would be what the digit will be nothing but uh, you can say character 2 minus 0 uh, so the answer will be nothing but answer into 10 that is 1 into 10 would be 10 plus the digit the digit is basically what the digit is right now 2 so the answer would become what answer would become 12 now then after that when my index moves to 3 then my digit would be what the character 3 minus character 0 so the digit would be nothing but you can say 3 so then uh, answer is equal to answer into 10 plus the digit that is 3 so this will become 123 right and that is how you can see that we are able to achieve our answer so basically what we have to do is we have to do answer is equal to answer into 10 plus the current digit that we are having an answer is the answer that we have generated so far if the s of 0 is equal to minus 1 then we will do what then we will simply multiply it with a minus 1 otherwise we can simply return the answer that we have generated also if there is any character that is outside this range then we should return minus 1 so let us try and quickly implement this code up and see if our code can uh, get accepted or not okay so what i need to do is as i said we need to determine the start position initially i'll assume the start to be zero and then i will check if at the starting index if i have the character that is minus okay then what we should do is then we should make the start as one because we should start from the index one okay so now depending on uh, this we'll start our i from the start position and i is less than str dot size that is the length of the string and then we should do an i plus plus now before this function as you know that we should declare an int answer initially as zero now what we will do here is we will start iterating and we'll say that the current digit would be what the digit will be nothing but the ith character minus the 
zero, right? That will give us the corresponding digit. Now answer will be what? Answer is equal to answer into 10 plus the digit that we have, right? But before that, we need to check that if the string that we have, if the str of i, uh, if it is greater or equal to zero and the str of i, it is less than or equal to nine, if it is between zero to nine, then only we will be adding this digit to our answer and multiplying the answer with 10 and adding this digit. Otherwise, if it is outside, if it is something that is a, c or some minus in between, so that cannot be converted into an integer. So we should return what we should return minus one in that case. Okay. And at the end of the day, when our answer is generated, so we'll simply return what we'll simply return our answer is. Okay, so you can see this is what we are doing. And basically the time complexity would be nothing but the length of the string that we have been given. So let us quickly try and compile this code on the sample test case and see if it is working on the given sample test case or not. Okay, so it is working fine on one, two, three. Let's try and submit this code to check if it is getting accepted on all the test cases or not. I hope it should get accepted. Uh, it is not working, yeah, because uh, what mistake I have done is before returning the answer, I should check. I should check what? I should check that uh, if the uh, str of zero was equal equal to minus one, right? So if uh, it was equal to minus one, then in that case, we need to return what? We need to return minus of answer, right? Else we need to return the positive answer only. So this is one thing that I had explained, but I did not wrote uh, in the final return time. So when I am returning, so I need to check if the zeroth character of the string is negative. If it is minus, then we need to return minus of answer. Otherwise, we'll return the positive answer. So now let's try and submit and it should work on all the test cases now. So you can see that all the 1,115 test cases have got accepted. I hope that this problem was clear to everyone and it was asked in Microsoft, Amazon and Adobe. Please make sure to comment down understood if you have understood the approach clearly. And if you have any doubts, please mention them in the comments. Thank you for watching this video.